my god guys i didn't even think i would be recording a video today but here we are and this is actually a serious matter and it's something that happens to a lot unfortunately but this is based on a celebrity couple well one of them is a celebrity i didn't really know the other person i don't really think people knew the other person you're gonna be talking about Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend. So we know Kiki Palmer, she is an actress and a singer. She's very talented, she's funny. She's like one of those celebrities that I feel like a lot of people, majority of the people just love and like. She doesn't really have that much hate around her. She's not like a controversial person. She's very loving. I don't have anything bad to say about Kiki Palmer. I've always been a fan of Kiki Palmer and she has ex-boyfriend that she met a couple of years back on an vacation and they got together and I actually loved the love story of how they met. They now have a kid together that's eight months year old and there has been a situation with this boyfriend a year back I think I can't even remember now but it was one of the Usher concerts that Kiki Palmer went to and there, there was a video in viral of her um, enjoying Usher's concert and Usher, as a performer, he was like very much um, giving a performance. I will show you guys the clip. And after that clip, it went viral and her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, reacted to that video, dragging her through the mud on social media and people were not checking for it. And they actually split up after that and ended up getting together. I don't know the full story of how that ended up being that they went back with each other after that whole situation but now they're definitely going to be separated and I'm going to read the tweet or uh, statement that I found on social media it says Kiki Palmer has filed a restraining order against her ex-boyfriend Darius Jackson accusing, of, accusing him of abuse and seeks full custody of the eight month old son she alleges he has been physically violent to her including an instance where he trespassed her home and threatened her before lunging for her neck, striking her, throwing her over the couch and stealing her phone. What is it about celebrity couples never being able to catch a break when it comes to the relationship? I just always feel like it's just this big hot ass mess when it comes to celebrity couples and especially also influencer couples. I've been covering the Nikki Thad and Jamie Perkins um, situation for the last three or four videos and it just seems like if you are a celebrity or influencer and you are in a relationship it's just a situation where it's gonna end up really really bad and this is just one of those situations. Unfortunately I feel really bad for Kiki because no one should ever endure that kind of violent behavior at all regardless if you're in a relationship or not and that kind of a situation is going to be so traumatic that can really stain you for life and like i feel really bad for Kiki palmer and i definitely feel like she should have full custody of the kid here's the thing he might not show that kind of side when it comes to his own kid but if I was in Kiki Palmer's shoes, I would definitely have full custody of the kid. I don't want him to have a bad influence on the kid. Even though he might not touch the kid, he might actually put some thoughts in that kid's head that it makes it seem like it's alright for what he did against his own baby mama. Baby mama. <laughs> baby mom. Um, it's just sickening. Honestly, it's just sickening. I don't even... There's, there's nothing to really go about it when he's talking about a situation like this. This is just blatantly wrong and there's nothing to really say about that other than that. Um, it's just saddening and I hope that she keeps away from this guy because him showing that side once is not something that you need to... He has showed his true colors and she definitely needs to stay away from him because there's not really anything that is going to change from now on. If she in the future would go back to him, I just feel like maybe a year or two or maybe a little bit longer time will pass before the inc the same kind of incident will happen again. A guy like that definitely needs help. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know what you guys think of the situation. But I honestly feel like when it comes to like straight couples, and I've seen this kind of behavior 
where the dynamic of the relationship, especially like a woman like Kiki Palmer that's very bubbly, she's very out there, she's very positive, she's like talkative, she's probably a person that's easy to have a conversation with, she probably draws a lot of people to her because of her personality. I often feel like the guy, when a guy like Darius Jackson dates a woman like that, they always end up going ballistic. And I feel like a lot of guys, Darius cannot, they cannot, um, they don't like that kind of a woman, even though they love that kind of a woman. They often want the woman for themselves. And I feel like this situation with Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend is exactly that. Yeah, it's, but yeah, let's go and read some of the comments on Twitter. Or X, I should call it. Because um, there's definitely some people, oh, well, it's Twitter. People always have their opinion, but let's see here. Someone says, it was all fake. Nah, it was all real. And all the warning signs were there. She probably took him back because 100% guilt tripped the fuck out of her. And he finally crossed a line she wouldn't put up with. Someone said, facts. His hurt feelings about her dress said it all. This is sadly hardly surprising. Brother could have kept it moving. It'd be better that his partner got serenaded by the usher, Raymond La... Mm. I cannot find really any good comments to mention to you guys because a lot of people say the red flags were there all along and um, referencing the usher situation. Which, yeah, it was a red flag, but was there more red flags? We don't really know if there was any more going on in the relationship that would be red flags. That situation of him embarrassing her on the internet what was definitely wild, I would say that, and was definitely a red flag. If that was the only situation there, relationship that was like a problem, where they had like a conflict or disagreement, then I would say that I, I would probably be in the same shoes as Kiki Palmer going back to him again after that, because it is, it was wild, but it was, if it was only the only thing, I wouldn't really say that it should be the end all of the relationship but here is a statement that i'm gonna read out loud to you it's a long tweet so it says actor and music artist kiki palmer is accusing her ex-boyfriend darius jackson of abuse in court the documents filed thursday according to multiple reports palmer is seeking a restraining order and sole custody of the eight month old son in the filing in los angeles superior court she claims that Jackson has engaged in several abuse acts over two years, including destroying my personal property, including diaries and prescription eyeglasses, throwing my belongings into the street, streets, throwing my car keys to prevent me from driving away, hitting me in front of our son, spewing profanities about me to our son, threatening to kill himself with a gun if I left him, harassment and other physical and emotional, emotional abuse, U.S. Weekly reported citing court documents. She also said he trespassed into my home without my knowledge or consent, threatened me, then physically attacked me, lunging from my neck, striking me, throwing me over the couch, and stealing my phone when I told him I was going to call the police. The son, Lydia's, oh, Leo, was born in February. In July, the couple drew widespread attention when Jackson posted an ex, a public shaming of the new mom for her appearance at an us concert. Justin remarks prompted backlash from Palmer's fans and many speculate that his comments were an indicator that he was controlling partner. So this is really sad. And the thing is, he was saying that why would you stay with him, all that. And when you're in love with a person, I don't know, speaking from, I don't, I can't speak from experience. Um, but just feel like people are not cutting people's slack when they are going through a situation like that because when you're really invested in a person it's not that hard to leave the person especially when especially when you also have a kid and you want to really trust the person and you really want to help the person you tend to stay a longer um so don't really feel like people should be coming for Kiki Palmer for trying to stay with him is if this happened for their kids then yeah, I will say it's, it was probably stupid of Kiki to stay in the relationship, but I would, n I would never ever judge her on that. She probably had good intention for staying in the relationship. Especially if he started threatening by taking his own life and stuff like that. Who is gonna actually leave a person? This situation is just really messy.
Here's the thing, when it comes to relationships and meeting a person, when the person shows you their true colours, and it might sound cliche, but it's just actually like a real thing, when a person shows their true colours, believe it the first time, that's where you don't cut a person any kind of slack when it comes to that, you just really need to believe what people are showing you and what they're saying. And that is just one of those situations where I'm just like, it's really sad. And I hope that she value herself a little bit better in the next relationship she's gonna be in and doesn't allow that kind of behavior emotionally or physically because that is something that is can be very traumatic, especially when it's something that you care about that often sits in you for a really long time, if not forever. There's a lot of people where we have heard story, stories of them where a relationship that was like 30 or 40 years back still has an, an influence in their life, a bad influence in their life. So when it comes to that, you definitely need to be really careful with who you engage with, just in general, but especially when it comes to relationships. We have heard these kind of stories again and again and it's just sad to hear that stuff like that still happens. So guys, that was it for this video. What do you guys think of this whole situation? Did you guys see any red flags in the relationship where it's maybe not... It doesn't surprise you that this has happened in the relationship because I've never really heard anything except for the Usher situation. Let me know in the comments and like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.